Hello, Jeremy here. Thanks for joining me. If you have a Hoover wind tunnel vacuum cleaner and your power switch looks like this and it breaks, as you can see here, there's no friction or anything. It does nothing. This video will show you how to replace it. On Amazon, I searched for Hoover rocker switch and verified that the vacuum I had matched. The parts in the Malex and go to work. Check the part, Phillips screwdriver, and a needle nose pliers. If you haven't already done so, unplug the vacuum cleaner. And then make sure you have a clean floor area in case you drop a screw so you're not looking all over the place for it. And then you're going to remove these two screws uh, over the cover of this uh, compartment. You're going to come in here with the needle nose pliers and remove these two things. First you remove these covers and then you're going to pull the two metal contacts out. Getting the switch off takes a little work. Just be patient with the pliers until it comes out. Don't force it. Uh, you don't want to crack uh, the plastic cover. Just take your time. It took me about a minute. It's fine. Uh, and once you get it out, you could put this aside. Now take note that when you took this out, the two uh, metal prongs were down. The next step is to put the metal uh, connectors on each uh, of the two pieces and then slide the rubber coating uh, on each one. This may take a few minutes. You don't want to rip the rubber piece. I suggest you work from the bottom. Replace the metal contact on the lower piece, then the rubber cover, and then do the same with the top section. And now I'm going to try the vacuum. Voila, we have a working vacuum. Now that we know it's working, let's unplug it. And now that it's tested, let's put the cap back on. And now you have it reassembled and hopefully working like new. Thanks for watching and be sure to like my video if this helped you.